Hey right, my hags, it's Jades. Guess what? There is a grounded update hopefully going live this week. If not, it will be next week and it's going to add the missing, missing Halloween content. I mentioned this last time, the big massive pumpkin is not where it should be. Now the event isn't that a big deal in Grounded. I've got to say, I've always been a little bit disappointed with some of them because they don't really offer that much in terms of new gameplay. But they do offer a new decorative item and there's meant to be a new one that you may have seen in creative mode or sandbox mode but never been able to see in the vanilla game. So what am I talking about? Well, let's go and take a look. In fact, you should be able to see even from here in one of my Playgrounds worlds, there's no pumpkin. Older OG players will know that every Halloween a pumpkin gets deposited on the edge here and you normally get some candy corn pieces that will give you like a slight movement speed buff I do believe. That's pretty much it. That is the general gist of any kind of Halloween update. Like I said, it's not the best. It's always been something I really wish they would maybe have added more. It would have been great to see snow and weather added at different times, seasons. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So there should be one of them pumpkins there. If you actually take a look in your playgrounds mode, you can see it right here. It is lit up, it is pretty cool, and players have certainly tried building bases in and around it, but I wouldn't risk it because if you do build anything close to it, it doesn't also spawn in either. But what new is there's meant to be another decorative item. These scarecrows are meant to have been added as part of this year's Halloween update. They've been part of playgrounds for a while and we've always been kind of surprised about like where they are and maybe actually making this Halloween event actually better is the fact that these are meant to spawn crow feather pieces. So as said they are broken at the moment but it is something that should be added soon and I'm guessing it is going to need some candy corn pieces and honestly who knows what else. I don't think it's available inside actual regular mode. The candy corn pieces should be spawning where you normally find regular food, so check your ant hills and check any other spawns. But that's not it, there's a few other fixes we're hoping might make it. For the longest time the black ant pet was kind of weak source and everyone went for the fire ant. And then when it got updated with the fully yoke to do believe, it meant somehow the black ant pet got a buff and it was 50% somehow now reducing damage taken. But it was never meant to be that, it was actually only meant to be like 10% but who knows what happened, I'm still a bit confused but for a while everyone was loving off the Black Ant Pet because it gave definitely more protection. Then they went and updated it and apparently they nerfed it back down to 10% but lots of community members including Apex Predator who's been on this, shout out to him and I'm getting some of this info from reading his Discord messages. It looks like they will be adding it back or maybe just re-enabling the fact that the Black Ant Pet was probably the goated creature to have. There might be some other issues with some of the other ants and the Ant Queen staff and salty weapons are currently not working properly with underwater creatures. No one knows if it was a bug or it's intended but I do believe they're still meant to make jerky even with some of the creatures that you slay in the water in the pond, i.e. tadpoles. You guys said that the last update basically changed it and your effects on your salty daggers were no longer doing the job. It might have been a gameplay change just because it didn't make much sense that it would work under war, who knows? Wade Pex lives in hope that that might be something they change. So that's it in a nutshell. Start placing these down once this update goes live. It should be update 1.4.6 and hopefully you'll get a ton of crow feathers which actually is pretty useful. I might even forgive them for some of their kind of non-events or having something like that. Now don't get me wrong, it's been okay having Christmas trees and the reefs and stuff and some new sign sets. I always thought it could have been a bit more cool if some of the creatures were a bit more themed. Maybe some new looks for some of the bugs, especially with Halloween. Anywho, I do realise it doesn't really match the story. What else is going to be in this update? Well, I'm not overhyping, that's for sure after being pretty bitterly disappointed by the supposed quality of life updates that went into the last update, I'm not promising or over promising anything. To be fair, Obsidian didn't either, kind of, but yeah, there may be some other smaller hotfixes, hopefully, and maybe a few minor adjustments, but don't expect anything massive. If there is, great, I'll be great to be surprised. There is one issue that stopped players maybe sinking their shared worlds and stuff, that has been resolved, you didn't need to update it, Apparently it kicked off yesterday apparently with the most problems but it got resolved later or, or earlier on today. So if you've been having any kind of issues syncing your worlds or your save worlds aren't there then hopefully it should be now fixed. 
And that's it. The update should take two to five days of cert, maybe a bit longer sometimes. So best case scenario, if it goes in today or tomorrow, we might see it by Friday. Worst case, it might be next week, but just in time before actually the month of October is finished and Halloween's over. And just a reminder, I told you guys I'd be back. I've been really enjoying Core Keeper, getting to grips with other games. That's been great. That's also coming out on the 17th to Xbox One and PlayStation 4 as well as Switch. It's been on next gen and for 1.0 release for over a month now. And honestly, I'm rating it right up there by Grounded as my favorite games. But I did kick off my time travel series. If you want to see the past of Grounded and how it progressed through the updates from four years ago, make sure you go and watch the next season that I just did, season three. And I will be live streaming on Wednesdays. That's going to be the cadence from now on. A time travel series episode at the weekends, maybe two. And then always a live stream every Wednesday night. If I find anything else, or if there's anything I really want to do with Grounded, then of course I might start doing more content. But I am going to be continuing with lots of Core Keeper stuff over the next few days, and taking a look at brand new games as well, like Tinkerlands, which was pretty cool. And maybe even some more live streams of Planet Crafter. So there we go. I'll see you, Ratbags, for more Grounded news soon. Until next time, laters.